Demeripage College is an event by which we have gathered experts in a lot of different fields. Some of them are scouters and some are not. And in particular, this year we gathered experts in 58 different merit badges to get together for one day. And we published that information and allowed scouts to register to come to this event and take up to two classes. The event is at uh, Rhode Island College in Providence. And this year we had, as last year, upwards to a thousand scouts come down from all over southern New England for this one day event and it has grown every year. This was the eighth one that's grown every year since we started. The purpose of this is to provide a scout an opportunity to spend some time, hours, with experts in sometimes a, a merit badge topic that they might have a hard time finding, one, like electronics or archaeology. And uh, not just an adult who's taken a few hours and studied up with the Merit Badge book just so that he can talk intelligently about it, but by with somebody who is, does this professionally. They can transmit to a scout a passion and an excitement about a field that nobody else can. And that's what has happened. The boys really respond to this opportunity when they see, and the parents do too, when they see the caliber of the instructors that are coming down. It's well worth their time and their the small fee that we charge to, to be able to put this event on. This year in particular we welcomed several companies. We reached out to industry and the community. In doing that I found that they are very eager to participate because they, they look for ways of, of having community outreach for their employees to, to do community service and this looks like one of them to them. And it really is because they're giving a, a group of boys an exposure to their career, to a new career maybe. You, you just don't know who's going to respond to that and how that's going to happen. And it's not just professions like engineering and archaeology, but also other professions like painting and plumbing. We've had good response from local union offices, police and fire departments, in companies this year we welcomed an archaeology company, Gray and Pape. They selected one of their employees who actually lives near Philadelphia and they transported him up here for that one day to put on this event. We've had involvement from the Rhode Island Society of Professional Land Surveyors. I've been part of this event now for about five or six of the years where they've come down with their surveying equipment and and the boys who take this class get an opportunity to see what surveying really is all about out in, on a winter day out in the cold in the wind. But boy, they, they enjoy it, enjoy it really a lot. And, they, and, and the amazing thing is, I found amazing, is that the instructors that we select are volunteer to do this. They are all volunteers. Come back, I got about 90% repeat instructors. They come back. Some of them now have been with us from day one, so next year will be their ninth. And it makes recruiting new people a lot easier because I don't have that many needs to recruit more. They have as much fun as the boys do at these classes because these kids come in, they're taking a class in a subject that they want to do. You know, what are you making them take archaeology? They, they said, this sounds interesting, I want to do it. That's how they sign up and the instructors find that they have a group of boys that are inquisitive, excited about doing it, very interested. So there is uh, a win-win on the way around. I should mention uh, some of the others, uh, for instance RGB Architects. Now, it's an architectural firm here locally and they've been part of us now since the second year we started. And the second year was the first year I went outside the confines of my small group when we, when we started. And uh, they've been part of it every year since. They sent down a team of, of their architects who work for them and we volunteered to come down and put on two classes and what architecture is. I didn't mention where I started this from. I was at the time an employee with uh, Raytheon Boardsmith. And when we 
came up with the concept and started the idea and I just put out a newsletter or put an ad in the local newsletter within the company described the event that I envisioned and how we wanted to do it. That came out on a Wednesday. By Friday of that week I had all the volunteers I needed to put on 15 different merit badges. And we did that the first year. We had 230 some odd scouts come down for that very first year and it's grown ever since. The idea is that at the end of the day you've learned some things that you didn't know when you came in and you may be able to walk out with a merit badge or two. Just think, at your age guys, if you take what you've learned in here today and you apply it at your next scout meeting and then you make a presentation at maybe a leadership conference or something and just keep practicing these skills and even if you get just a little bit better each time, just think what it's going to be like when you get into uh, you know, when you're a senior in high school and you're the class president and you're, and then you, you're off to college or maybe you give the valedictorian address. And the thing is, when you get into the work world, these skills that you're growing up with now that you've learned in here today, it's going to put you head and shoulders above your peers.